Hello everyone, welcome. In this video, let's dive into the world of programmable logic devices, also known as PLDs. These are fundamental components in digital logic design. We will start with the definition of PLDs, explore their primary types, and set the stage for more detailed discussions in the subsequent slides. So let's get started. Let's begin our journey with the Programmable Logic Array, also known as PLA. PLA is a combinational logic device that features both programmable and and or gates. This unique architecture allows it to efficiently implement some of products expressions. Some of products is a method of simplifying Boolean algebra expressions. In the coming slides, we will uncover its definition and explore its key features. In this slide, let's explore the architecture and structure of a programmable logic array, also known as PLA. It mainly comprises four key components, input buffers, an end array, an or array, and output buffers. The input buffers provide both the true and complement signals of the input variables. The AND array is programmable and generates the required product terms. The OR array is also programmable, forming the sum of these product terms. Finally, the output buffers drive the external loads. The signal flow in a PLA starts with the inputs going through the input buffers. These signals then proceed to the AND array, where the product terms are generated. Next, the product terms move to the OR array for some formation. Finally, the results are processed by the output buffers to produce the final outputs. Here we will discuss the programmable array logic, also known as PAL. A PAL is a device that has a programmable and array and a fixed or array. This architecture simplifies the design and offers better performance compared to PLAs. In this slide, we'll define PALs and discuss their key advantages. Let's explore the architecture of programmable array logic, also known as PAL, and how it compares to a programmable logic array, also known as PLA. A PAL consists of a programmable and array and a fixed or array. It has dedicated or gates for its outputs and feedback paths from the output to the input. Now let's compare PAL to PLA. In terms of speed, PALs are faster due to their fixed or array. On the other hand, PLAs offer more flexibility because of their programmable and and or arrays. Finally, PALs are generally less expensive than PLAs. In this slide, we will introduce the complex programmable logic device, also known as CPLD. CPLDs are advanced PLDs that combine multiple PAL-like blocks with an interconnect matrix. They serve as a bridge between simple PLDs and field programmable gate arrays, also known as FPGAs. Let's go over its definition and key features. In this slide, we'll examine the architecture and components of a complex programmable logic device, also known as CPLD. The main components of a CPLD include logic array blocks, also known as labs, a programmable interconnect array, input and output control blocks, and a clock distribution network. Additionally, a macro cell typically consists of a product term array using in gates, a sum term implemented with an OR gate, a flip-flop for sequential storage, and output logic for polarity control. Now, let's quickly compare the different types of programmable logic devices and summarize their applications. In terms of flexibility, programmable logic arrays, also known as PLAs, offer the most flexibility but are slower and more costly. Programmable array logic, also known as PALs, are faster and more cost-effective, but have limited flexibility. Complex programmable logic devices, also known as CPLDs, offer high density and versatility for complex designs. These devices can be used in several applications, such as address decoding circuits, state machine implementations, protocol controllers, and interface logic design. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit CodeLucky.com for more such useful content.